guys. I am taking a break from working on my bench because I got a bit frustrated. So I cleared off a little spot and I'm putting my cabochons in place. Let me see. So like I put them on these cards like that and I put like this the vendor was bead boutique my old store on the back it's number 15 because I have drawings for it it's septonite I haven't written that down so I'll put septonite of course I didn't spell it right and um this one was from Utah I know because I, I remember buying them. I bought tons of them. And then I put them in a index, well, not an index card holder, but like a, um, a notebook, a three ring binder that has, apparently I can't get it in right now, um, that has trading card or baseball card things on it. I usually use double-sided tape, but of course I'm out, so. We'll just be using cheap tape today. And I'm not going to do that one because I already know that that one's going. This is an onyx, right? Yeah, so I got a piece of onyx. I'm going to stick it on here. That was B Boutique 2. And I don't put the price on, the, on them. I do have a code I can put on here, but like for the bead boutique, they were all written off as bad debt when I closed the store, um, if they were store stock and I hadn't sold it. So um, these, I don't have to worry about that so much. Um, so, hey, there are my headphones. I was watching Barbie on, oh, there they are on uh, YouTube, she has a pop-up right now, but I turned it off because, da -da -da, I'm not supposed to, is that right, 17.9, so, 17.9, I'm gonna put 18 by, oh, 18 by, it's supposed to be 12, but it's closer to 13. So I'll put 13 um, oval that I know. I don't know why I have to put oval. 18 by 13 is obviously an oval. Then I would put it in my thing. And if, like I said, if I had, um, I can't see that lovely purple I'm using. Oh, these aren't even charged. I can't listen to Barbie. Um, then I put them in my thing, and it does help me out a lot just because I forget what stone it is. I forget. It doesn't really matter to me who I buy it from because I tend um, to buy when they're on sale. Let's see. Is this sunstone or carnelian? I believe it's carnelian. So I got a carnelian here get some tape. It's much easier if you have little dots or, oh, I wonder if I have some dots or double-sided tape. But in the end, I just want it done so I can find some of my pieces. Carnelian. Carnelian. And what size are you? I like to know the size because um, if I, I don't have to measure it then and then 15 then I can just look at them if I'm selling it to somebody or whatever. 15 by 20. Huh. Perfect. Okay, 15 by 20. 15 by 20. And this was a bead boutique one. So right after I closed bead boutique, I did, oops, I left an E out. B, uh, I can't spell and talk. B O U. Uh, we just don't care about that one. I know where it's from. 
Um, when I closed my store and brought it to my house, I did bring all my beads. I brought all my um, silversmithing home and all my um, silver clay. And then um, I taught out of my house for a long time. This I just bought. It's called S-C-H- a L E N -E I'll have to do some research on this one. It's 11.15 carats. If I know the carat weight, I put it in there because clients always like to know that. It's a 20 by 11 and it is not an oval. And I will show you the stone. This is a really neat stone and I can't remember what this store was called that I bought it at, it's over there, so. It's like a totally cool piece. Look at that. And I love, it's not, it's not a, it's an irregular shape and I love that. There, yep. So, I can't get it out. I will write who this one is from. I bought it online. They have a store out of India. Well, they're out of India and then they have a store here in um, New York City. New York City. You remember what commercial that was from? It was Pace Picante sauce, I believe. Hi, Remy. If I could ever get, this is why I'm doing it, because I can't ever get, oh, I don't have who it was by. Oh, there's another one. It was by like MMA or Not something. I don't know. I bought it through Etsy. Let's see. So I'll put that until I can find the guy's name. Because I didn't write it on here. Brilliant of me. Um, Ruby Zoazite. And I'm working on something that has that in it. So I won't even worry about that. What is this? This is a piece of Labradorite. Oh, Barbie just shut off. Oh, I guess she's done. I enjoy watching her. I love this one. It looks like skin, like dragon skin or something. They have different names for it too, and it has the purple and the blue flash. There you go. Oh, there. So, and I like the shape. It's easier for me to do that shape than it is, um, a circle. Circles and ovals, I just, I usually buy the cab cabochons now. This is a 20, shoot, I can't read the writing. Is it 25 by 19? <laughs> we'll just measure it and see, won't we? Okay, we got that one and that one. And it says 34 by 14. And then under 20. Yeah, I don't know what he was measuring when he wrote that. It's 34 by 14. 14. Oh, I was going to write 15. Obviously, it's Labradorite. Because I can't spell lab radite. radite. And I think I have the carrot weight. Oh, I just threw that. <laughs> I am a pain. 12.60 carats. 12.60 carats. See, I got that on sale. So I'll just tell you. I think he originally was charging like 14 for it. And I think I got I got it for four, and it's all natural. So I mean, that's why. So for this one, I'll put I'll put my code, which I don't remember what I did. I just know the end of it is 004, and I bought it in 2105. I think that's all I put on my stones. Then I know how long they've been hanging around, too. Um, and there are some people I know 
that would have put the 14 instead of the four because it is so pretty. Um, because it would cost them 14 to replace it. And I just always try and give you my cost and charge you through my cost because if I get a good deal, I think I want you to get a good deal. That's not how it always works, I know. And sometimes I don't get a good deal and you have to pay for it. Um, I'm not sure what this is even. It's a card stone. It's probably uh, an agate maybe? I don't know. It's not calcite because it turns pretty and it's carved and it's beautiful and I have no idea about any of it. <laughs> So that one just goes in on a blank card. Oh, great thing, I get to reuse the card. How's that? Actually, I'll probably reuse a lot of these cards after I sell them. This is something I got from Mr. Jim, and I have no idea what it is. It's a turquoise lookalike. It's an expensive stone, and he told me, but he didn't write it on their thing, which is a pet peeve of mine. If you're me, if I'll just bitch now and everybody can hate me. I think if you're selling stones to people, um, most people don't know their stones 100%, then you should write what it is on their baggies. So if they're idiots like me, then you can know. Here's an opal. This is a turquoise. And like that turquoise right there, and that malachite, I think I have in my little book of books. I'll show you. Let's see. Oh, there I have like my Peter site there's another Labradorite these are all like stones I didn't know because believe it or not I don't think that's a lapis oh there's an onyx I started a coral page an amethyst page and one tiny little druzy that thing was 14 bucks you know why because that's a natural druzy and that came out I bought that in probably 2005 I have a I, I, when they're out this way, here, Colorado turquoise. So I have a whole thing of just Colorado turquoise. They're all different ones. So I will put that on there. And then I don't waste as much paper. It does not give me an accurate count. Like I have a hundred of these cards and I want to put, um, I wanted to kind of know where I was, but I won't ever know. Oh, there's another piece of little turquoise. So I put that one on there. And yes, I know this is like really boring. Um, I'll probably stop in a few minutes because somebody said they'd, th they'd like to see how I did it. Can't see it there, sorry. Um, wow, I don't know where any scissors are, so I'm gonna use my wire cutters. Don't do this. This is not how you should do things. And I'm rearranging my little room, and I don't have anywhere but my bench set up. <laughs> and my white box that I knocked over. <laughs> Which is okay, because no one wants me to be on their actions. Not a big deal. I believe this is turquoise, too. Could be Laramar. No. Pretty sure that's turquoise. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I have another coral one, so I think that's all the turquoise I have. No, are you turquoise? No, you're ruby zoazite. So, let's see, we'll do the opals. You back? Oh, yeah, the cookies? Yeah. And they didn't hit, sit well? Oh. Well, I think they're pretty good. Okay, so this opal is not going to be a standard uh, calibrated size. Oh, it is 10. It's 10 too, but 10 by 8. 10 by 8. Beauty. 
There, I spelled it right. Now I have other opals and as I find them, I will put them on these cards. Like this is nice to know because then I can just buy a cabochon that's already made, a cabochon cup. It says 10 by two, that's a 10 by eight and just put that in. And yeah, I said it was a little over 10, but you can widen them. So it's not that big a deal. Oh, I have these really pretty lace blue agates that are a set, an earring set. So they're so pretty. There was a time I did not like lace blue agate. I like it now. Sorry, my fingernails are gross. I don't know how other people have such beautiful fingers when they've been sanding and doing all that. I don't. Of course, I don't have pretty fingers anytime. So, 11, it's almost 12. So, you should do it down here, Kristen, to get the most accurate. 12 by 10. They're non-calibrated, so I'll put, look at me, I'll get fancy. 12 by 10, non-calibrated. Then I know. I know. And Lace Blue Agate is crazy pricey right now. When I bought those, wasn't very popular back then and um, I actually got them in like a free lot it wasn't even a like they weren't even considered a good thing they were just part of the trash lots that you got free when you ordered so much and I happen to have gotten a set of them so they will be sold as a set As set. So that's that. I can't stand how dirty my fingernails are, so I'm not going to show you me cleaning them out, but I got smart and bought a fingernail cleaner down here from my nail polish stuff upstairs. Believe it or not, in college, I did other people's nails, put acrylics on them and stuff. I love having fancy nails. I just can't when I'm working, especially with the torch. I've, I used to do it with a torch, and I melt my nails. It's very tragic, I know. There you go. They're cleaned out some. Okay. I have more. Because what happened was I spilled my um, storage system. And so like these, that's a real stone. So I also do costume jewelry and fix it. And I, um, that's a real stone. I wonder what that is. That's a type of agate, I think. It looks kind of like moss agate, only it's not transparent enough. And so these, they're just going to be reclaimed. That's a nice one. Reclaimed. I'm pretty sure this isn't calibrated. Seventeen five by seventeen. It's eighteen there at its widest. So I'm not even gonna put that. Just down at the bottom I will put stone. I don't think there's any other reclaimed stones there. This is not. 
Okay, maybe that one is. It, that may be a jelly opal. I'll have to do some more research on that one. But like these backed ones like that. Oh, those are, look at these. I got these in a Goodwill box. There's a set of six of them. They're beautiful quality CZs. They're hearts. Um, I got pink, purple. There's the pink one. There's the purple. Isn't that purple pretty? Oh, sorry. Um, purple, pink, white. I got a couple others. Lots of rhinestone. Lots of rhinestone. Okay, I don't know. So, yeah, so I put those on cards too, but I have, these actually came from something specific, so I know that, so I will stick them down on my, down here, because I know you're with it. I know you are. I know. I'll show you guys something cool I got in Goodwill. And maybe they're not cool to you. I love, I love ball chains. This is such a cute little mini one. I think it's all four millimeters. Isn't that pretty? It's got a nice clasp on it. And then this one, I think is three millimeters. And it has a nice clasp on it. This one's tarnished though. The other one looks like it's rhodium plated. So I will tell you, can you clear please zero? Okay, three millimeters, hit it on the neck. And I will go down to the bottom here. I'm pretty sure they're all three. Three millimeters. And then this one, are you five or four? Four millimeters. And they're not graduated either. The one I have that's mine is graduated. Oh, and I'll tell you guys this. This is by Beadsmith. It's a caliper. Um, it's nice. It's on and off. In it's digital, you can do the insides. See how that, that's what that does, is the inside of something. So, yeah. if I don't know the inside measurement of my bezel cup, I can simply go like this. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I can simply go like this and hold it on. And it's 17.9 on the inside, which means it should be 18 on the outside. Oh, it's 18.5 on the outside. Oh, and then if I need to do, oops, sorry. It zeroes out. It's supposed to zero out sometimes. It's zero, whatever. I always zero it out. It's just like a scale. And then it's 12.9. So it's supposed to be 18 by 13. <laughs> Those bezel cups aren't exact when you get them. And so lots of times um, things don't fit in them, like this one. That stone did not fit in that bezel cup. So I made it, I used a little bit of pliers and little pushers and I made it fit. It's tight. I don't ever glue my stones, although I know lots of people that do. And that won't fall out ever. I don't know if I can even get it out to solder. It is gonna be a pain. Usually you should use a piece of dental floss or silk cord, put it in and then lay your, your stone on top of it. So, oh, I have this piece. Can't decide if it's onyx or hematite. I don't think it's jet and I don't have my stone in here. I lost my white stone and I was gonna order a new white stone because I lost it, and um, I couldn't because, well, I always order two at a time because it's cheaper, and they were out, so I'm waiting. This one is 40, 37.9 by 20, cool, 40. I told me. I know this is a bead boutique one. I'm pretty sure that's on it. Uh, that's got a good double edge. Okay. 
Okay. So I'll put those away in my little thing. I probably tortured you guys enough. Oh, here, if you want to know. Oh, I found it. This is what the piece of paper is I use. That's the barcode from um, Amazon. You get a hundred of them. I like them because they're heavier than, see, my, even that heavy stone doesn't fall off. They're heavier than um, index cards, which I like. And they, um, I don't know. Why, do, why does it have to be nice looking when it's in my thing? I told my husband I wasn't being OCD. Um, Cause I would like put all the black stones together. In fact, that has all the black things on it together here. And I would um, then put them in black. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I should probably. Um, really, this is more so that if somebody wants me to make them something and they don't know what they want, I can send them a picture of a flip through and they can say, oh, I really like, I don't know, that stone there. Or if they tell me they wanted an agate, I can pull my agates. Not easily because I didn't store them that way. Um, so here, I said, I told you, I like these are all vintage new old stock. So at a beach show, I just bought something and they gave these to me. And they're glass. I believe they're all glass. And they have painted backs to make them look pretty. Um, so I keep all those together. This was out of a cabochon. Um, somebody used sterling silver and mounted this cabochon, which is like plastic or acrylic. So I popped it out and I will reclaim the sterling and use it for something. I don't know why you would use that for a sterling, but I guess when sterling was cheaper, it was, people probably weren't so uptight about it. Last time I checked, it was 27, 2737. I did not check today. I haven't checked yet today. What time is it? It's 3.30, 4, 2.30, 4.30. So they closed, I think, now the S&P. And I can check and see what it closed up for the day. So, after this, when I get these put away, I will go back to working on my clients stuff. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Actually, I should be zero out off. Okay. Actually, I should be, um, Clean so that I don't have this mess and I don't start a fire. But not gonna happen. So that's a bead. So in my drawer, I have an organizer that just has miscellaneous stuff in it. Um, for my costume jewelry stuff, that's those are beads too, but those are stone beads, so they go in that one. And um, I keep it that way, so I don't have to go across anything. These are both, together, these were 30 grams, so they're about 15 grams each. That's pretty good. Actually, that little one is heavier than the big one, I think. No, it isn't. It's close, though. Uh, I think I got them for, I did really good on those. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was like 15 a piece. Pretty close. Ooh. So these are some of the things. I finished this one. Some of you have seen. Oh, I'm at 30 minutes, so that's good. So I finished this one. That's ap apis, lapis denim lapis from Afghanistan. The um, bead guy I buy those from, he also does, he also has cabs and stuff. He um, actually travels to Afghanistan twice a year. That is a Biwa pearl dyed, but then I set it on sterling silver. Oh, and that lapis was all sterling silver. Um, this is copper, sterling, and garnet. Oh, and brass. And that's part of my post series. This I'm probably not going to sell. It was originally going to be something. It has, what 
do you have in it? Uh, I believe it has an aquamarine in it. And it's a butterfly, but it didn't turn out the way, like in my brain, I thought it would. And then here's one I'm working on. This will have lapis in it, if I can find all the lapis pieces. I had a spill and I can't find a couple lapis pieces. Um, I have a gorgeous moonstone, faceted moonstone. How big is it? It's huge. It's 11 by 8. Moonstone from Africa, no treatment, natural, one piece. It's 5.03 carats. So, I got that. That's an old piece. I got that. That's a big piece. Then I'm doing a piece with this lapis. So that's, oh, here. I have not cleaned it yet. But that's, it's on brass. There's a copper heart punched out with sterling silver solder and a sterling silver piece soldered on. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to finish it with or how. It was, I was playing and I was frustrated. So that ended up being. <laughs> So that's what I'm at. Oh, I have a copper piece that I started. Let's see. Uh, is it copper? Uh, copper. Here's a turquoise piece. It's too big for the bezel. See if I set it flat, look how the bezel would cover like half the stone. So I don't know if I'll cut it off. Let's see. So you want it more like that much on it so I don't know if I will cut it down or if I will put some people put pieces of paper with in there some of mine I have have pieces of paper that I put in there and it has like um, this was made special for you I don't know different things like that some people put metal another piece of metal around there to hold it up so I don't know what I'll do yet because that's a lot of silver to waste see all that silver so I may just make it higher. The problem with that is then people think they're getting a really thick stone. And I always think that's kind of criminal because they think they're getting this huge stone that's really thick. And this is a beautiful turquoise, um, but it's a thin one. See, and I don't want to mislead people. So I'm not sure what I'll do. But I have that bale, and this was started, it was in my stuff, so I had had an idea for it. I just don't know what I, would, what I was going to do with it. So, that's all I got for you there. And then, let's see, I have a pop-up video for Brighton items that will be coming up that I have. Um, Brighton is sterling silver plated brass, I believe. And, um, so I will be, um, selling those. I think there's like 15 pieces in there and I'll just have them, I'll have the price of them. And then if you're interested, you can just, um, email me that you want that one. So I will be posting that on and then aren't these the cutest kitties and then move back and forth their breath. I listed them on my eBay store, and I sold two things while I was sitting here, which was nice. There's another Brighton piece. Yeah, so Brighton just hasn't been selling for me lately. I also love this piece. That's a premier design, I think, or a cookie -lee. I can't remember off the top of my head. You are not. Um, okay. Uh, neither one of my pieces that I wanted to, that I sold are in that thing, so I have to find them. So anyway, I will turn you off. Thank you. Let's see. I um, have an art show coming up in August with Pancakes and Booze here in Denver, metro area. It's actually in Denver. Um, I'll put more up about that. So my painting and my jewelry hopefully will be there. And then um, I'm going to be doing an auction next week, a pop-up, but I haven't set on that date yet. And then um, I have to finish Cindy Jewelry Nurse's um, repair order. I have somebody else's repair order. 
it's not online, so I won't say her name because I don't know if she'd want me to. And then um, I think Cindy loves jewelry. Cindy Lovin was maybe going to send me something. So if I get that, I will um, probably post on. Ugh, I will probably post um, that on there too when they're done to show you what they look like. And that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching a little or all of it. And I will um, talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend if I don't see you before. And if you're a guy and you have a son, happy Father's Day. Or if you're a dad, grandpa, happy Father's Day to you as a grandpa. And um, make every day a work of art. And I will see you later.